This is the hike up to the house here. This is the ridge. Some other people up there. There's some big hills there. Uh, our house is right in the wood trees there. Go back out a little bit here. So, and the ridge goes along to there, some big hills where we hiked back up in them um, the other day. So, I think it's Tuesday. So, everybody hikes up this way. This is kind of the main trail or slash road. Juliet's here behind us and Rosie. Try to keep the camera steady. There's little places up here. There's one over there. So it's rained up the road a little bit, so I was glad it wasn't rain in here because it's a about a half mile hike maybe a quarter mile at least between a quarter and a half with all these little ruts here that would fill up with water so people ride their motorbikes it's actually quite peaceful and beautiful got the locals that have cows or goats just let them lose their time up out here and let them graze. So there's some water buffaloes up in the bananas there. That's our place. We sit right above all the banana trees. There's some in our backyard. So it's province life in the Philippines. Down here we got some water buffalo in the old rice fields. There's three or four of them down there. They bury themselves in the mud. That one's grazing right there. And there's one there buried in the mud. This morning there was two or three of them. It's kind of cooled off just a little bit with the cloud covering rain in the area. And the, that knob there that looks kind of like there's grass or something growing up, that's corn. There's a couple cows and then all these little terraces are little places where they had rice. There's a water buffalo there. Sorry for the quick camera work. But uh, there's a couple local cows out here tied to, I don't know what they tie them to. There's some rope on them. They might just drag the other uh, stake that looks like. So up there's our house there. That we're living in at the moment. So, these are people, all neighbors of ours that I haven't met everyone yet. So I would say there's seems to about know, eight to twelve different uh, families living up in here, and they're just scattered up into the hills there, all the way over. You'd be going along, it seems like you're in the middle of nowhere, and then suddenly you're uh, stumbling on somebody's little house out here. So I was walking, there's another shot of her house there with the banana trees. So, these are electric lines, they got kind of Jerry rigged up on some uh, bamboo poles. There's a banana tree. If you've never seen one close up, that's what the leaf looks like. And we have several that have bamboo on them. That's a coconut tree there in the middle. Over there, that big one with the fern-like leaves. I guess that was our neighbors here we were following up. I didn't recognize them. They live there in that place. I don't think I think I'm the first one back. So there's our dog. 
no, maybe not. They, all the dogs over here look alike to me. I think that's one of the neighbors. We got one just like this in white. Yeah, there's ours. Barking at us and some bamboo there. What's going on? Huh? They don't recognize me. Yeah, that's the friendly one. Forget the name of it. That one's a little meaner. She let me get in there. See, come up to see me. Yeah, there, look at that. Very friendly. Bark at me first, it recognizes me. That's going to be our new bamboo house. I'm going to try to live in that. Here comes uh, RJ and Mui. They cheated. They took their motorbike back. There they are. Well, we'll call this one an end. Thanks for watching.